Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn al Hussein of Jordan on the success of the surgery he had undergone. His Majesty the King wished the Jordanian monarch good health and happiness to continue the march of progress and prosperity under his wise leadership. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn al Hussein of Jordan on the success of the surgery he had undergone. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister wished His Majesty King Abdullah II good health and Jordan and its people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with several heads of Ramadan Majlises within the Kingdom at Rifa Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of uniting efforts to implement the wide-ranging strategies and plans to achieve inclusive growth and prosperity for all citizens in the Kingdom. He emphasized Bahrain's commitment to overcome various challenges. In this regard, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister noted that following the global COVID-19 health challenge, the Kingdom will shift its focus to increasing economic growth, enhancing competitiveness and creating sustainability as outlined in the Economic Recovery Plan. His Royal Highness noted that the same determination displayed to overcome the global pandemic will allow Bahraini citizens to create new successes in the upcoming phase under His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's comprehensive development, which will pave a brighter future for all. His Royal Highness exchanged congratulations with the heads of majlises on the holy month of Ramadan, noting the importance of Ramadan majlises in furthering social bonds, cohesion and integration among Bahraini families. He highlighted the efforts made by Bahraini citizens in various fields, which have enabled the kingdom to lead in, in numerous development fields. He extended his gratitude to Bahraini citizens for their continuous efforts and their commitment to the development of the kingdom. For their part, the heads of the kingdom's Ramadan majlises expressed their gratitude and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his continued engagement with the kingdom's citizens. They wished Bahrain further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the guidance of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and a number of senior officials also attended the meeting. The Representatives Council held its weekly session under the chairmanship of its speaker Fawziya Zainal. After, after discussing the reports of the concerned committees, the council approved two draft laws and referred them to the Shura Council. The first draft law stipulates amending some provisions of the law regulating pension and re retirement benefits for officers and members of the Bahrain Defense Force and public security. The second draft law stipulates amending some provisions of Decree Law 18 of 1997 to regulate the pharmacy profession and centers. Then the Council approved the proposal of the amended law to redraft some provisions of Decree Law 27 of 2015 regarding the Commercial Registry. The Economic Recovery Plan achieved outstanding success as it implemented 16 initiatives among 27 initiatives that fall under the five priorities included in the plan until the end of the first quarter of 2022. These achievements have contributed to improving the performance of economic indicators which witnessed remarkable growth in a number of sectors, most notably tourism, trade, financial services and the real estate sector. With the launch of the Economic Recovery Plan in October of last year, which was announced by the Cabinet and launched with a number of initiatives aimed at developing the, eco the economy and creating qualitative opportunities for the citizens, the various sectors of the Kingdom worked to activate the five priorities on which the plan focused as it developed an integrated vision focusing on creating promising job opportunities to make citizens the first choice in the labour market, facilitating commercial procedures 
sectors and increasing their effectiveness to attract investments, implement major development projects, develop promising sectors aimed at non-oil GDP growth, and enhance endeavors for financial stability and economic stability by achieving financial balance by the year 2024. This plan included many ambitious strategic to achieve the desired development aspirations of Bahrain. The plan aims to enhance financial stability across the country's productive services and economic sectors by proposing more initiatives for comprehensive economic development. The Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, in cooperation with the National Bureau for Revenue, NBR, continued to intensify inspection campaigns on shops and commercial establishments. 30 shops and commercial establishments were inspected in various governorates of the kingdom to monitor the compliance of commercial establishments with VAT application at its modified basic percentage and to raise awareness on the mechanisms to be followed in a manner that mainly ensures the interest of consumers. The inspection campaigns resulted in the detection of 17 violations that require the imposition of administrative fines that may reach 10,000 Bahraini dinars in accordance with the VAT law. In addition to monitoring some cases that may be considered as cases of task evasion, which may require the closure of some stores correspondingly, accordingly, the NBR in the process of taking legal measures against the violating establishments. The Secretary General of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, RHF, Dr. Mustafa Al Sayyid, yesterday conferred the Prince Salman bin Hamad Medal for Medical Merit upon the RHF's staff. In line with His Majesty the King's order and the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to honor frontline workers in recognition for their tireless efforts for the country. On this occasion, uh, Dr. Sayyid said that the pride of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and the dedicated national efforts exerted by the health professionals in the front lines of the fight against the coronavirus, including cadres of the health sector, the Bahrain Defense Force, the Interior Ministry and all allied parties is a catalyst for continuing teamwork in order to enhance the Kingdom's progress march and achieve national goals. He stressed that maintaining the kingdom's gains in fighting the pandemic requires doubling efforts to attain more successes and carrying on the noble humanitarian work to continue serving all social segments. Dr. Estate congratulated the RHF staff for receiving the medal, expressing thanks to them for their dedicated efforts and effective participation in combating the pandemic. The RHF's affiliates expressed their pride on the occasion, noting that the medal will motivate them to serve the kingdom and bring about more achievements in the humanitarian field.